What's up YouTube? This is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. In this video, I'll be talking about how to block as an outside hitter or left side attacker. And this video was suggested by Jia Xing. So thank you so much for this video suggestion. The first thing we'll talk about is what are your responsibilities blocking from the left front. Your primary responsibility as a blocker in the left front is to block anything behind the setter or to the left of your middle blocker. The most common block you will perform is blocking the right side attacker. The second most common block you will perform is helping to block the middle on a front one or a back one. set you might block is either a back two or a slide. Now we'll talk about blocking posture. You're going to start with your feet shoulder width apart, bend your knees and your hips so my shoulders are forward, and then I'm going to place my forearms in front and this will help me gauge the distance between my body and the net. This also keeps me from jumping forward or netting when I'm blocking. The reason why you want to start with your knees bent is because you might have to react block and that's the fastest block that you need to learn. If you're not ready for the back one or the front one or you're caught off guard, you need to be loaded so I can just jump up right away without having to go back down and my arms are already up to at least slow down the ball even if I'm not going to stuff block it. The second type of block you will have to know is a committed block from a standing position. If you want to learn the difference between a react block and a commit block, then make sure that you watch my middle blocking technique video by clicking on the video link up here. A standing commit block looks like this. From here I start my blocking posture and then I can get as low as necessary to gather all my power to fully commit to the block and reach as far over the net as possible. The third block you need to learn is a shuffle block. This is assuming that they're setting a high ball, but you're either caught off guard or the set is a little bit faster than you think, and you can't fully get as low as possible, so you just have to shuffle your feet and then get your hands up to try to slow down the ball.
The fourth type of blocking is what I call post blocking. This requires a specific footwork called open cross hop. The fifth type of blocking is called swing blocking. It's very similar to your spiking approach, except I'm turning and facing the net to block the hitter at the last second. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and share it with all of your volleyball friends and teammates who would like to learn how to block as an outside hitter or a left side attacker. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel where I'll be releasing weekly volleyball tutorial videos just like this one. If you have any other suggestions regarding volleyball, athletic training, or fitness, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.